Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome to my channel. I haven't been on here for quite some time now. Um, the last video that you guys saw was me winning Miss Illinois for USA National Miss. And since then, it has been crazy busy with school, with work, and of course the title. It's just been a lot going on. So I haven't really had the chance to sit down and film and update you guys on really everything and I'm gonna make a video about all that stuff later but I did want to come on and do kind of just a fun video today. At Nationals while we were there I did pick up a lot of stuff. Um, not really meaning to but it just kind of happened. There is this thing called a Glamour Gala Welcome Dinner and it was also an auction and at the beginning during registration everyone had to bring a hundred dollar auction item, hundred dollars or more. And at this gala there was tables set out everywhere and you could go and bid on all the different auction items that you wanted to win. I was bidding on some of the smaller stuff, the forty dollar, fifty dollar things, not realizing that I was gonna win four of them. <laughs> here's the deal, I wanna go through and show you guys the things that I won. There are some things that are not in here because I either, um, they were things that I couldn't bring with me or things that were food items that I ate while I was there. <laughs> but you know the drill. Of course, I bid on a lot of the makeup items as you guys probably would assume. Um, first thing I got is this Beauty Concepts Get In Shape box. This is like an eyebrow kit. I was so excited that I won this that I had to try it while I was there. So all of like the brow gel wax, whatever you want to call it, is like mostly gone because I used it every day since then. It's one of the things that I really did use while I was there. So I got that. I got a bunch of palettes actually. I was not expecting this, but here they are. And they're backwards of course. Okay, here they are. I believe, I'm not 100% sure where these are from. It says Canopy Cosmetics, um, but I feel like I saw these at Charming Charlie's. You know, like at like their, for their brand. I may be completely wrong, but on here it says all three of these are from Canopy Cosmetics. I will show you them. I'm not going to go through all the shades and stuff, but I will show you. So the first thing I got, it's called You Glow Girl, and it's a highlighter palette. This palette is the bomb. I used it while I was there, especially this middle shade, this champagne shade. So good, would recommend. But all of these shades I'm sure are beautiful. I haven't really gotten to try anything else except this champagne shade, but I definitely want to experience and experiment with it a little bit more. I also got two eyeshadow palettes. This one's called Hello Gorgeous. Well, there's purples, there's oranges, there's pinks, and there's this color right up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a gorgeous, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like a pressed glitter almost. But I haven't really gotten to try any of these out yet because they're kind of bold colors, some of them. So um, I didn't really get a chance to look into it much. But another thing that I will be playing with. I also, this is by far one of the favorite things that I won from the auction. It's called Think Happy and it's another eyeshadow palette. If I can get it out of the thing. I love the composition of this palette and all of the all of the shades that I've tried so far have worked beautifully. Look at this giant mirror, which is amazing. And then they have a bunch of gorgeous shades. You know, the shades down here almost remind me of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I do love the way that this palette looks. It's all colors that I use. Um, the only ones that I really got to use are maybe some of the regular nude colors because I didn't really do extravagant makeup while I was there. Then I also got one of these eye masks. I think you're supposed to put it in the fridge and then you like wear it and it's supposed to reduce like puffiness or like redness around your eyes. Um, I also got this. This wasn't from the auction but it was um, it was free in one of our swag bags. It's from Sherry, I think Sherry? Sherry Cosmetics and it's this little lip guy. Super cute. This is in the shade Berry Sweet. I have not tried it yet, but I'm definitely gonna have to. I think it's a liquid lip. It looks like it, when I open it up, it looks like it would dry down like a liquid lip. So I'm gonna have to experiment with it, but. I got three different glosses. Um, one is from Oriza Beauty. I've never heard of this cosmetic company ever in my life, but I actually have it on right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just kind of glittery and it gives your lips just a little bit of pigment, but not too much. Um, then I got this one that's from Ulta. 
This one's in the shade pink. <laughs> this one's in the shade pink. This one the, from the Ariza Beauty is in shade Rose Glow. And then this one is from e.l.f. It's just one of those lip shines that you can get and just slap on really quick if you need something to kind of make your lips a little bit more alive. And this one is in the shade... It doesn't say a shade on here. Well, it's pink. So, lots of makeup items. There are some non-makeup items in here, so just hold on. Bear with me. I got this really cute, oh, now squished, bag. This is from Charming Charlie's, which is why I'm thinking that the makeup is also from Charming Charlie's, but I don't know if the brand Canopy Cosmetics is the one that's there. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. So I got this super cute bag that is squished, but it's still cute. It's called Brush It Off. This is from Charming Charlie's. The tag is still on there. And then inside of it was this cute little compact mirror that says, you're making me blush. So that was cute. I actually needed a compact mirror, so this kind of works out really well. Then I got one of those silicone sponges that everyone was super into and trying out. Like what, how many, was that like a year ago now? I don't even know. It was a while ago, but I have a silicone sponge to now play around with. Um, don't know if I'm really ever gonna use it, but it's still kind of cool and I'd be down to try it. Next, oh lord, I got this travel case for makeup. Again, not sure if I'm gonna ever use this, but it's nice to have. It's just got like two layers to it, and you can put hair stuff, makeup things if you're traveling, and then there's a little mirror inside. Oh, this is another Charming Charlie's bag. It says, but first, mascara. So cute, it's a little bag for brushes, makeup, whatever you want to use it for. It goes with this uh, this other set, so I now have a set of things to put in there, so that's cool. Could always use makeup bags, because I always bring so much makeup with me everywhere I go. Okay, so this one is full of things. <laughs> Let me get over here and so I can show you. So first of all, the bag is super cute. I think it's from Ulta. Yeah, it's an Ulta bag. I thought it was super cute. It kind of reminds me of the Ipsy bags. It's like the size and shape of one, kind of. Okay, so in here we have a Laritzi Cosmetics Long Lasting Lipstick. Have not tried this one out either. It reminds me of this of the other one that I have. They're very similar shades as far as like the undertones. They're kind of like berry. But yeah, Laritzi Cosmetics. I have never in my life heard of that brand, but I'm excited to try it. And then I got three lips, uh, not lipsticks, um, three nail polishes, which I actually don't paint my nails, so I might have to give these guys away. I have so many nail polishes. I used to be really into painting my own nails and making them long, but for me, I'm just like not into it. At the, at the moment right now, I'm a big fan of the Kiss nail brand. I absolutely die for their press-on nails, their glue-on nails. I think they're amazing. So this is from Pretty Woman. And I actually really like this shade. This one is like a very nude. It's a very like nude, pinky blush color. And this is called Nude or Nothing, is what this one is called. This one is called Orchid, and this is from Cosmeceuticals, what this is called. And this one is a bright purple. I don't know if I'd ever use this one. It's kind of a weird color, just for me. Like my color palette, it just doesn't go with me. But um, yeah, this is called Orchid. And then the last one is just a blue from the brand like Fluid, I think is what, how you say it. Um, but again, another color I might not wear. I might wear this nude one, but I don't foresee myself really using nail polish much. And then the last thing in here is an Ulta Beauty rainbow highlighter. I've never used a rainbow highlighter, even with all of the trends. I've just never felt the need to. We're getting there, it's okay, we're getting there. So I actually won, let me just pull the whole bit out, this massive bin of coffee supplies. Now, if anybody knows me out there, they know that I don't drink coffee for the caffeine. I only drink it every so often because sometimes I'm craving some coffee. I'm like, you know what, I'm feeling it today. I just kind of want the taste of some coffee, but I'm not like a huge coffee fan. Uh, but I just thought this mug, was the reason why I bid on this. Um, and it says, Jesus and coffee. And when I saw this coffee cup, 
there was just I, I had to have it it was just like I, I bid on this entire box just so I can have this cup if you know me I am a sucker for mugs so this is definitely gonna be my favorite mug of all time I might even use this to put on my desk for something but super cute and then inside is just like a bunch of candy and stuff but these are from my sister Queens that were giving out things while we were there um, so none of that I won in the auction but super cute and thank you to all of my sister Queens that gave out stuff while we were at nationals um, this I'm actually interested to try it's ketogenic coffee um, I'm not keto uh, if anything I would say I'm more paleo even though I do eat grains every so often I don't know, it says instant coffee, hot or cold, and it's just the original, so I would definitely be interested to try this. I got these super cute coffee cups, they just say blue. Okay, so these coffee cups are reusable. Uh, the next thing that I got was actual coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, it's the French vanilla. Um, I was gonna give this to my dad because he drinks Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but he doesn't like the French vanilla one, so I might have to start drinking coffee now. I don't know, I think that's just the consensus. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got another addiction coming. Okay, then I got, oh, this is interesting. The Unicorn Frappe. Never in my life have I seen something like this, and I thought it was so interesting. I just might have to try it. I'd like to try it just for fun. Maybe I'll make a video of it. Maybe me and Darren will do it. Mm. Video ideas are just coming to me right now. Okay, and then I got a Sugar Rose Hip hydrating mask. I am a sucker for face masks. I love face masks. So whenever I can get some, I am jumping on that train. Okay, I had to adjust myself because, um, yeah, I just couldn't sit on my feet anymore. They're hurting. They're hurting. My feet are hurting, girl, after wearing six inch high heels for a week. This, I, <sighs> this is what one of all of like the makeup stuff came in. It all came in this thing. To me, it looks like Blackhawks, the Chicago Blackhawks. So I might have to use this for like a gift for somebody for like Christmas to put in here. I can use it for like a Blackhawks gift for like my uncle or my dad or something. So this, girl, I want you to take a look at how beautiful this is. Look at it. It's like, it's like that cushiony material too. It's beautiful. I absolutely had to bid on this when I saw this case because I was like, a dream makeup case. And there's so much stuff in it too. So, this case inside, there's a beautiful mirror if you need to, which is so nice for travel. Thank you, Ofra. Not Ofra. Sorry. There's an item from Ofra on here, so I saw that. Thank you, Ulta. I believe this is from Ulta. There's nothing on it, like, at all, so I have no clue where it comes from. But the products inside are Ulta, so I'm assuming. Alright, so first thing is I got a set of brushes, which was kind of cool, and they're like mermaid. You all, like, mermaid unicorn fantasy. There is an Ofra eyeshadow in here. Blue jeans is what it's called. It's a really... I think it definitely does look like denim, for sure. I think blue jeans is a perfect name for this eyeshadow, but it's just a single, so I'm gonna have to see where I can put that if I open it and try it. So these I'm actually really excited about. They are by the brand Patchology, and they are Flash Patch Restoring Night Eye Gels. So these ones, I guess they're supposed to like depuff, make your eyes look, um, I guess, less tired, and your girl has a big issue with under eye bags. Everything else in here is from Ulta and came in the case. I'm assuming when they bought it because it's like got like the inserts and stuff in there. So in here I guess was a full on makeup kit. This has eyeshadow primer, liner, uh, brow wax, brow powder. So that's that little insert that was in the top. Uh, as you can see I have not tried that either. I got another brush that looks really nice actually for eyeshadow so that I'm gonna have to try and then I'm not gonna take this out but I'll show it to you up close all of this there are eyeshadow there is eyeshadow over here some of those like smaller brushes I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those I got enough brushes in my in my uh, collection right now and then this I'm assuming is supposed to be like a contour and highlight palette is what it's looking like to me the last thing that I have to show you are the side inserts. They come out right over here, and there's two of them. The first I am 
absolutely stoked for because they're all mini lippies. And I have, I'm, I'm a, I'm a lip girl, so I'm really excited. And then it's got color corrector, um, creams as well, so that's gonna be exciting to play with. And then there is eyeliners on the other side. There's four different colors. All of this stuff, all of the four auction baskets that I, oh my gosh, I forgot to put in there. Okay, hold on. Some of the most important things that I won. What? Okay, so I'm wearing actually a couple of the things that I won. First of all, I won a Pandora bra- girl. Okay, I won a Pandora bracelet with a crown charm. Look how cute that is. Are you kidding? I also won these earrings. They're like little daisies. Aren't they so cute? Do you die? Oh. I knew you guys didn't want me to open everything and swatch everything because that would take forever, but I will end up having to play with these on my own a little bit more just to kind of see what they hold. But let's address the elephant in the room right now. Yes, I do look a lot different, and yes, I did lose weight, a good amount of it too. Once I won Miss Illinois, I decided that you know, when I was trying on dresses and I was going over all of my outfits for appearances and things, I thought to myself and I was like, I can't live this way anymore. And by live this way, I meant eat like I was eating. I had, I literally never worked out ever. I ate three meals a day out, fast food, chicken tenders, burgers, fries. I mean, my life revolved around fast food and I just couldn't do it anymore. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I don't feel good. You know, I was like, I, my body doesn't feel good. I decided that I was going to lose weight and I was going to make sure that I was healthy. Absolutely, one of my main goals was to feel healthy. And I exercise four times a week now. I absolutely love it. I'm gaining muscle. I feel good. I feel so much better. I take a multivitamin now. And there are so many things that I changed about my life. And if you guys would like to hear that story of how that came to be, please let me know because I would absolutely love to share my fitness journey with you. Um, but over the next couple of weeks, you guys will see changes 100%. I want to come back to YouTube. I actually just ordered my lighting set up. Okay, I'm done now, I promise. I just wanted to put that out there, everything that I won. Everything that I got here for the auction was very reasonably, reasonably bid at. I got everything for $175. So happy that I got to give back to UNM and their scholarships. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun showing you guys all my makeup and all the things that I got. Hello, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel because I am not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. It might be another week or two until I get another video out, but I am going to tell you once I start posting videos, I promise you, I promise you I'm not going away this time. I have so many amazing ideas and so many things that I want to do with this channel. There's, I want to start a blog. I want to start upping my Instagram content. There's so many things that I want to start doing. Alrighty. Bye, you guys. See you next time.